Hey everybody, what's going on out there in internet land? Mickey Russo coming at you live from my home office in ghetto Danville, Indiana. Uh, this video today is going to be about money discussions during a sales presentation. Okay. Um, and if you've seen any of my other videos, I did one about how to build a rapport and trust and also how to get people to buy from you and some other things. Um, in those videos, I talk about specifically, you know, there's like a process to the sales thing. And I just want you guys to know right off the get-go real quick that I'll, I'll, the majority of this information I'm giving you guys is coming directly from this book I've been reading. It's called uh, You Can't Teach a Kid to Ride a Bike at a Seminar by David H. Sandler. So I, I recommend if you want to delve a little bit deeper in some of these principles and concepts that I'm sharing with you, to pick that book up. Again, it's, I don't even remember. Again, it's You Can't Teach a Kid to Ride a Bike at a Seminar by David H. Sandler. Okay? Um, so today, money discussions about... Or, I'm sorry, money discussions during a sales presentation. Okay, so after you built that trust and rapport and then you targeted your um, prospect's pain, because if you watch any of my other videos, then you know that a, a prospect or people don't buy intellectually, they buy emotionally. So you want to trigger some kind of emotion before you move on to uh, the rest of your sale, the selling process, okay? And again, if you haven't seen any of those other videos, you can go to my YouTube channel. I'm going to put a link below this video. Uh, that goes directly to my blog. I actually wrote a blog uh, article about this, uh, about money discussion during sales presentation. I'll put that link in the description box below this video if you're watching this video on YouTube. Um, so, so go ahead and click that and check it out. Um, but anyways, so after, like I said, after you, after you build that treasury form, you target the pain, you want to go into, you don't want to get through, you know, the whole sales presentation and, and find out that your prospect doesn't have any money. So you kind of want to get that out of the way right from the get-to. And you can do this kind of nonchalantly, non-threatening, softly, you know, by uh, using this specific language. So, Mr. So-and-so, uh, uh, would you be willing to share a ballpark number, a round number about uh, what we're working with here, if, what you're willing to invest uh, for, for this product, uh, for this service, whatever you're, guys, whatever you're providing, okay? And um, this does several things. Using that specific language, sharing, most people are prone to sharing. And then when you use the, wor the word or phrase like, Ballpark number, round number, general estimate. You know what your, uh, you know, language like this will, uh, like I get, like again, it'll, it'll seem non-threatening. It'll prompt people to be willing to be open with you, okay? Instead of using language like, tell me exactly what, what, how much you have to spend. Like that's kind of threatening. So you don't want, you want to avoid that. You want to make the, like, uh, you want to make the prospect feel comfortable during a sales presentation, okay? Um, there's a lot more that goes into that. You're going to get a lot of different responses. Okay, you're going to get a yes, you're going to get a no, or you're going to get a yes, but I can't disclose to you exactly what my budget is. And uh, if you click the link below this video that goes to my blog, I explain all that in the blog. So I, uh, you know, if you want more information on, 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 on the sale, or I'm sorry, on this the money discussion during a sales presentation, click the link below this video. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, it'll be in the description box. Just click that link, it'll take you to my blog and just read that and check it out. Um, so I, I hope you took something away from this video. Um, that's always my goal is to just share some quality information with you. Uh, I actually, I kind of, I, I don't, I don't really, I don't really do selling. I'm not the selling kind of a person to be honest with you because the, the company that I'm working with, they actually take care of the sales for me, which is awesome. And if you're interested in working with me, because obviously what's the ultimate goal? If the ultimate goal is to make some money, right? If you want to make some money and you want to use the internet and technology and leverage that, and that way you can, you can make a video like this. You know, and then you can make it one time, and then you can go about your day and know that that the sailing is going to be taken care of for you. Then you know you can join me in business right now. I'll put another link below this video again in the description box if you're watching this on YouTube. If you're watching this on my blog, it'll be right below this video. Just click that link. It'll take you to an opt-in page, which will then take you to a sales page um, for the CEOs of this company. The company, the name of the company is actually the Empower Network, and uh, the Empower Network basically they started this blogging platform people can, that people don't have to worry about any of the technical stuff the blog is already set up for you and uh, there's so many I don't even want to go into because like I said I don't want to do the selling but if you are interested and you uh, you know want to check some of that information out just go ahead and like I said click that other link not my blog but the other link and, and it'll just lead you down that funnel and you can go ahead and check some of that stuff out so I highly recommend that I encourage you to click that link below this video once again thank you guys for watching I hope you got something from this I hope you have a great day thank you and God bless